What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you images from various Twitter users across the board here at TFW 2005 of the new Transformers Masterpiece MP53 Plus B Dia Burnout. This is the new black redeco of the MP53 Skids mode with a new head as well as the uh, Diaclone scooter and it is a black version of the Honda City Turbo mode which of course became skids, but it also has the extra little motorcycle, which is why I'm not buying any of the other repaints of the skids mold in, in uh, the legacy line, because it doesn't come in anything else, it's just a retool and maybe a recolor to hit. Uh, man, I'm not doing it. But I do like the way this looks. Um, it's a very nice looking figure. We're gonna look at the pictures and I'll leave a link down at the com in the comment section below, I mean in the uh, description below, so you can go to the original post from TFW 2005. So we have here pictures of the packaging and this typical, you know, masterpiece packaging looks good, you know, showing us that it's a plus variant of the uh, Skids mold. Um, you get the uh, pictures of the box. It doesn't say Takazatomi, it says Takaratomi <laughs> for my, uh, masterpiece collectors um and you get the now the picture it shows it to be a golden figure but i don't know if that's from a light or something because it's red another picture but you do get the extra scooter that was packed in the back you get the card here which shows the uh it's just a card so i guess it's a female i would assume that um you get the instructions and everything like that and uh part of it's in color and i think some of it's in the you know old black and white paint you know like grid style look and of course she's just the back of the card where you get to see the stats of the figure and he's i guess the six seven seven i don't know i'm sorry i don't read kanji that well and here's the inside of packaging as you can see here it is like a, a amber red hue of the figure you get the weapons and you get the extra scooter and of course you get to see everything on the back and again why is it showing up as golden that's weird it's got to be some lighting trick because that's definitely red uh, it's still red, but anyway, you get Autobot symbols and you get a G2 Autobot symbol. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Are they trying to say this is supposed to be Generation 2? I don't know. Um, but here is the car, and of course, one thing about Masterpiece when they make these uh figures, they make them faithful. The car, the, the car mold is faithful to the original vehicle. Uh, this being the Honda uh, City Turbo mode, so you know this has a little more speed to it. Sort of like a, a relic in Japan, uh, these cars were. So, I mean, they were very popular in the 80s, enough for them to make multiple modes of this in the uh, Diaclone line. And of course, we only got one with Skids in the Transformers line. Um, but the black color scheme is pretty nice. Um, the underside you know, pretty clean, typical of what it should be. Um, wouldn't be anything different or anything like that. Uh, we're going to see some other pictures of the car. So you got black with the gold stripe and yellowish orange gold stripe with a red outline to it, piping to it. You got the turbo sign, Honda on the side. Um, you know, the window, the uh, rear view windows, how they stick out. Everything is molded as it should be down to the tires and everything like that. And of course, we see the Diaclone driver can kind of, well, get squished in there somehow. <laughs> um, but the coolest feature of the original Diaclone version is that they did come with the scooter, unlike the uh, Transformers uh, regular releases, Skids did not. Um, and I think that's pretty cool as well. And here in the robot mode, we have now the Dia Burnout standing next to RC. Um, she is shorter than RC, uh, you know, a little weirdly shorter, but nonetheless, you know, I don't think they really did a whole lot of sculpting like they did with Road Rage from, uh, Masterpiece Road Rage from Trax, but I assume this is supposed to be a female. Not that it matters. I know the whole, I'm not getting into that. Please don't bring that here. I'm just saying what it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I love the colors. There's of course the same. Everything's going to be nicely articulated um very well painted very well sculpted haven't heard of any qc issues that. and here it is next to the uh legacy burnout and you can see where a lot of legacy kind of borrowed from masterpiece but not quite but borrowed some and of course here are all the honda city turbos and the honda city r's 
And the difference with the turbo is that you see the extra scoop on the hood. So skids and burnout have that while uh, crosscut and the other, I can't remember his name, the red one, don't. They're the uh, city R. Okay, so maybe not as fast. And here they are all in robot mode. So we have four of the uh, released figures so far, but we are missing one. And there's a variant of uh, the red one, I can't remember his name with the blue head, where he also has a red head and slightly different striping along the side of the vehicle. And based on the pictures, it looks like it is not the turbo, but it's the regular Honda City R. And I'll show you that in a moment. So as you can see here, here are all the original uh, figures. These are the Diaclones version because the Skids Diaclone blue color that came out did come with the scooter while the US release did not in the trans in the regular Transformers line. And you can see uh, the red one is a red repaint of the turbo uh, of the turbo while the red one with the blue head is a repaint of the city R. So all in all, it's a great release. Um, I love that head sculpt. That head sculpt is fire. Um, I think I just think they did a good job with this. Like I said, I'm not going down any more rabbit holes. In fact, I'm coming out of collecting. I will do news and I'm only going to try to complete what I want. But, you know, I'm 50 years old. I don't need to be buying toys every other day. Um, unless my channel makes enough money for me to invest in the toys. Getting out of it, man. I'm keeping what I have. I just don't want to do this anymore. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. But I still do the news. I do reviews. I figures that I see fit, but I don't think I'll be doing anything to try to rush out here and get toys to do reviews. It's it's not that easy, man. It's, it's annoying. I don't, I'm tired of chasing these figures, man. If I can't find it, I can't find it. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. Again, this is Super Robot Ed, bringing you more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.